Hello, my name is Moti Itskovic. I'm the Lead Employee Central Consultant for AKT. And I will be sharing with you today the highlights from the release 2017 Q1. First one, what we found very interesting, it's actually on a beta version currently, so it's not allowed to be used in productive or in sales demo instances. Uh, there might be some potential incompatible changes there. Uh, and which success factors would not be able to fix for you at this stage. So please refrain from uh, using this as uh, as as they requested in productive or sales demo instances. Um, this feature um, actually enables you to visualize your company structure as long as it's on MDF objects. It's not just the company uh, chart. It's not just the um, organizational hierarchy, if it's the business unit division and department, it's could, it could be any structure associated to object to each other. Um, as long as they're MDF, this will be presented or you'll be able to present this on this tool. The way it looks, it's, uh, as you can see, it's right near position org chart, near the org chart, you have a new, new tab called company structure overview in which you select the structure you want to present enter the starting point of this business this company structure and then you will be able to navigate as you're doing for the organizational for the position org chart and the org chart uh, as you've done before what this allows is to navigate very usefully between the objects you're able to see the full picture and not only that also the employees which are associated to the any of this uh, objects so uh, you'll be able to see how many employees and how many positions also are associated to this object or to the subordinates objects. The employees are order, they have alphabetical order, so it's very easy, nice to, to navigate. And also you're able to go into the object and edit that and view changes in history, uh, all the details that are relevant for the object. So this is very nice and very, might be very useful for you in the future. We have implemented that in our test instances. It's very nice, it's very easy to do that, so recommend it to look into that. Next feature has to do with workflow request and how you are you're managing those. This option allows you to sort the workflow request. If you have many workflow requests as an approver flowing into your to your desk, to your homepage, you are now able to sort them out to filter the one that you want to focus at this point of time and to mass approve the those requests. So that allows you to free the bottleneck that you might be experiencing at this point and allows you to be more efficient in the way you manage this. So as you can see, you have the filter slide on the top where you can enter the parameters you want to filter the workflow upon, and then you're able to approve and sort those requests with the with this tools, with this buttons here. Another nice feature, coming up in this release is has to do with the alerts. Any alerts you're getting now, for example, an employee returning from parental leave on a certain date, you want to take extra actions after this is done or as a preparation for these this date, then you, you can configure an alert that will notify certain stakeholders in the organization. They are able to get all those alerts in one tile on the to-do section, it's called take action. This is a new thing. Up until now, it was just an email-based alert. This allows you to be more effective and manage your actions more efficiently. And when you're done, you're able to just simply press I'm done button and then that will be sorted out. Another nice good improvement has to do with approval with the request of absence. Uh, of an employee. So up until now, if an employee requested to go on a certain leave or an absence, and that request was either declined by his managers or him, him himself, the, the employee decided to cancel that request, those requests with these statuses did not show up on the my request section of the page. 
only the ones that are pending or approved showed up. And this, from as of this uh, release, this is now possible. You'll you'll be seeing these uh, requests as well. The next nice feature is with the mobile time off. You're now able to submit a request of time off and also attach a document to it. This might come in handy, for example, in case you were you were coming out of the doctor, which approved uh, sick leave for you. You're now able to log into the mobile, enter the uh, scanned document, the scan approval from the doctor, submit this request to the manager immediately, and save time and hassle afterwards. The next nice improvement with the mobile time off is with the version. So far, the time off only supported iOS technology. As of this release, also the Android based smartphones are able to use this as well uh, and request time off via their devices. Some minor enhancements. So far, only several personal information portals supported attached and documented into these portals. We've seen graduate improvement in that section. And as of this release, all portals are supported and you now can submit an attachment to these portals. The last one is uh, actually a fix that was very concerning some of the uh, customers. If you would go into pending hires screen and you want to complete a new hire, process and you will, if you had some defaults fields from that were populated on initiation of the screen as you open the screen some defaults automatically fill this uh, fields these rules did not work when you were using pending hires when you were using save draft for new hires it simply did not work and you would had to fill this manually by uh, yourself this would also be the case if you were an approval of a new hire process and you would go into the update workflow request button and then you would see the new hire record these rules did not work as well there and you would have to fill those these manually. As of this release, this is fixed. And also these type of rules are supported. So you would have all the fields populated as you requested. And as you, as you would see this, if you were to run a new hire process from scratch. So these are the highlights of Employee Central as we've seen this in uh, release 2017 Q1. Thank you for joining. Goodbye.